Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, since I started doing reaction videos on Islam, you guys told me I will have to react to Dr. Zucker Knight. However, now guys, I'm traveling, as you can see in the background, a beautiful kitchen for you guys to observe. Unfortunately, obviously, I cannot bring my green screen with me. So therefore, this format will have to do for the following three to five videos videos before I settle again and then we are back to my professional quote-unquote green screen studio. All right, with no further ado, today as I said we're gonna react to Dr. Zucker Nike with his video Why did not God create only one religion? Let's have a look. My name is uh, Krishna Rao. Must be Indian. I am working as a general manager abroad. Luckily today, one of my, fortunately, with, I've come here with one of my friends who has brought me here today. In fact, Dr. Zakir, I have seen him on TV and always I had, uh, I mean, this is a great opportunity that has, God has given me to see him personally. Okay, and he believes in God. question, which always I had a doubt in my life. Our Christian. Uh, that why... God didn't create. There was prejudice there. I thought because of his name he will be Indian, but apparently he's Christian. He didn't create one religion, or he didn't make one religion for everybody, so that peace would have been prevailed on this earth. He knew it, or he never knew. About I already know the answer because I read the Quran. The Quran states that if God willed it, we all would have the same religion, but He willed it otherwise. About it that these are the problems which are going to be faced. Brother asked a very good question, very important question. Why did not God create only one religion? Why did he create all the different religions so there would be no confusion, no fighting? And I agree with him, it's a very good question. But that's the beauty of life, isn't it? That we are so different and we can get to know each other. That's what the Quran and states as well. If you read the Quran, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, Chapter number 3, verse number 19. In Nadina in the Lail Islam. The only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. Islam means submitting your will to Almighty God. So yes. if you read all the religions, Almighty God only sent messengers to preach one religion. All the messengers that came, Fair. right from Adam, peace be upon him, right down Noah, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. All the prophets... And our beloved prophet said, there were 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. And it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Fatir, chapter 35, verse 24. Okay. I didn't know there was that many. Nazir, there is not a nation or a tribe to whom we have not sent a warner or a guide. Allah says in Surah Rath, chapter number 13, yes, verse number 7. And to every people have we sent a warner. Now, yes. all the messengers that came, brother, they taught nothing but submitting the will to Almighty God. And the basic... I absolutely agree with this. ...message that all these messengers taught oneness of God. 100%. He did not beget. He has got no mother. He has got no father. He is only one. There is nothing like him. But due to passage of time, all what the messengers preached, it got corrupted. And if you heard my talk, I mentioned that most of the scriptures that came before the Quran, they got changed. Sure. And Allah says in the Quran, in several places, if he wanted, he could have made everyone submit his will to God. Everyone Muslim. See, Muslim brother, don't take it as a religion. The real meaning of Islam is, it's a deen, it's a way of life. Yes. Submitting your will to God. And Muslim doesn't mean a person who has the name Zakir, Abdullah, Sultan. Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. If you submit your will to God in Arabic, I will call you as Muslim. So don't go on the labels given. So that was quite surprising to me, believe it or not, when I found out that Muslim simply means someone that submits his will to God. A believer, in other words, simply in Arabic. That was, of course, shocking to me because for me, Muslim was simply a religious affiliation like Buddhist, Christian or Jew. Sultan, Zakir, Abdullah. Muslim in Arabic means 
a person who submits his will to God. Anyone who submits his will to God, he is called as a Muslim. So all the messengers that came, they taught yep. that we have to submit our will to God. All of them taught monotheism. All taught Tawheed. But by the passage of time, all these scriptures kept on changing. And that's the reason Almighty God, He sent the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And the last and final revelation, glorious Quran. Now all the messengers that came before, it's really congruent and makes sense if you think about it that way. It is a very red thread underlying the whole story, the whole conceptualization of what Islam is. Essentially, the description for me is so beautiful because it states it is not a new religion in a sense, but rather we're trying to find the underlying message, which is the monotheism, which is the submission to God, which then, of course, means that all the prophets preach the same thing. It is linear. It is congruent. Muhammad peace be upon him. This word all rationally the makes sense. That came before the Quran, yep. They were only meant for those people and for that time. By okay. name, four are mentioned in the Quran: Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the Quran. Torah is the Wahi, the revelation which was given to Moses, peace be upon him. Zabur right. is the Wahi, the revelation given to David, peace be upon him. Injil is the Wahi, the revelation given to Jesus, Jesus. Christ, peace be upon him. And Quran is the last and final revelation given to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But Quran also says in Surah Fair chapter number 13, verse number 38. It says, the Kulli Ajlin Kitab. In every age have we sent a revelation. There were several revelations sent down. But all the revelations that came book, before right? the Quran and all the messengers that came before Prophet Muhammad, they were sent only for those people and for that time. That is the reason Almighty God did not think it fit to preserve it. But since Quran is the last and final revelation, not only sent for the Muslims or the Arabs, it is sent for the whole of humanity. And Prophet Muhammad, he is not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. He has been sent for the whole of humanity. That is the reason he has been prophesied in all the major world religious scriptures. And all this of book, the Quran, all have to look Allah says in Surah Hijar, chapter number 15, verse number 9, we have revealed the Quran and we shall guard it from corruption. So what we realize, yes. that Almighty God sent messengers to preach only one religion. That is, submitting your will to Almighty God. In Arabic, I say Islam. Makes Jesus total Christ sense, to absolutely, Christ. because even if you look into the Bible, when Jesus is asked how to pray, he speaks of the Father's prayer. Jesus called God the Father within the biblical context, but more importantly, what is the Father's prayer? You can clearly read, thy will be done which is, of course, the absolute submission to God, a.k.a. Islam in Arabic. The word Christianity doesn't exist in the Bible. Do you know that? That's true. In the full Bible, the word Christianity is not there. Of course not. Christianity. The word Christ no, it wouldn't make sense because then Jesus as the Messiah, the Christ, Christ meaning Messiah, he would then have to preach a religion in Aramaic that would be called Messianism, essentially named after him. But that obviously wasn't his teaching. Christian was a nickname given to the followers of Jesus in yes. Antioch, mentioned in the book of Acts. It is as if the Muslims nowadays would be called Mohammedanists, basically. So Jesus Christ preached Islam. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse number 30, J.S. Christ, peace be said, that not my will, but my Father's will. Thy will be done. God's yes. will. In Arabic, he preached nothing but Islam. Fair enough. Similarly, if we read Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna said that you have to submit your will to God. If you want to say in Arabic, he says that you have to accept Islam. What we realize, that all the messengers taught nothing but Submitting a will to God. That's the reason the Quran says in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse number 19, in Nadina in the Lail Islam, the only way of life accepted the in the sight of God is, is submitting Islam. a will to Almighty God. Get it. So what we have to go back to the original scriptures. Go back to the commandment of Almighty God and submit your will to the commandment of God and then you will be following the straight path. Hope that answers the question. Beautiful. Alright guys, and this is it for today's video. This is it for the first reaction video to Dr. Zucker Naik. I'm very impressed with his performance. Absolutely beautifully put. Many new things, but many things that I already knew through reading the Quran, through learning about Islam. Guys, now you're surely wondering yet again, why are you not converting? Why are you not reverting Bobby? We are waiting. I talked about this before. The submission to God is crystal clear to me. 
me. The monotheism is crystal clear to me, the Tawheed. I absolutely resonate with it. Moreover, I would even claim that I internally know that that is the truth. The submission to God is the truth. The monotheism is the truth. I would absolutely agree with those statements. However, why I'm further learning is because there are certain rule sets that are differing within the religions. For example, the Jews have to keep the Sabbath. The Muslims do not have to do that. The Muslims fast on Ramadan and that fast is different from the Orthodox Christian fast. For example, the Christians, they're abstaining from the flesh. However, the Muslims, they don't eat and don't drink throughout the day. The Jews, on the other hand, fast differently yet again. So the core message of Islam, I said it many, many times before, is absolutely beautiful and I agree with it 100%. However, if we get into the technicalities, and I spoke about this as well before, the Shiites, they differ with the Sunnis. There are different technicalities. Some schools of thought say that dogs are haram, for example, or music is absolutely haram. Then you have other schools of thought as well. And as I said, Christians, on the other hand, won't tell you that music is haram. So I'm trying to find the red thread here. I'm trying to understand what is really from God and what is added. I absolutely believe, yet again, that the Quran is preserved, but I have my skepticism when it comes down to the hadiths. All of this and more I have to learn about before I can accept a new religion. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video out of my kitchen here. I hope you liked it nevertheless. If so, so leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, support my work, all the links are in the description box below, Patreon as well. All right, guys, this is it. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.